about it uh, overnight with a couple of drinks? How meaningful is it now, to, you know, 12 hours later? Well, I mean, it was great, great winning the race. But already we're just talking about his next spot, trying to figure out what the best way of him to get there. I've seen Dr. Brainwich at breakfast. Just a little thing with the horse that's been nagging with him for like a couple months, asking him what we could do about that, which is not even, it's meaningless, but when you got a round kind of way, ever, no. It's like a little bit of a cracked heel behind, and it's been lingering for two to three months, maybe longer, but it's not nothing to, but I just wanted to get 100% now that we got time for his next race, but we've been working on it religiously, and um, it's, it, we're holding it in really good shape, but we want to get rid of it, you know? Is that something you can help with? Or that... Well, uh, uh, Dr. Brambridge told me who to call. He to Actually, he wants Ian to call him to just see if we can't get it home. But Ian's, Ian's been around the foot, and he sees, and we've been trying to nail it. So maybe we just need some other medication on it. I don't know. So in talk, I talked to Mark a little bit earlier today, and obviously the Saudi Cup is the big circle. Yeah. How to, how to get there is sort of a still a question mark. He didn't totally rule out the Cigar Mile, but I would imagine if you're dealing with something like that. But oh, there's nothing. No, we've been dealing with that for, okay. for all three races. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing to, to really deal with. You just We just want to get it 100%. It's like 98%, you know? It's almost four months. From I would be comfortable running him in the Saudi Cup in his next start. I would be comfortable. I'm going to be pushing for it. I think that's what this horse belongs having. So what we should do is we should keep him here until we know that he's good. He's okay. been training here. So it gets to get us a really good line before we go anywhere. Okay. That's what I think we should do because we have time. And I just want to make sure that he's good before we put him on a plane. From all the horses we've seen run, I think that it's going to take a big effort for, for a, a good horse to beat him in his next start. It's going to take a good horse to run a big race to beat him because this r next race seems like it is absolutely tailor-made for him. A mile and an eighth around one turn. I've already bought all the chapstick that I can because I'm going to be licking my lips everywhere with this. So I just don't want him to get all rustled up, you know, when you guys interview me. But that's what we can't wait for, man. And I want to make sure that he is on top of his game. When he goes into that race, it means everything to us. Why does he excel with so much time between the starts? I don't think it's that. It's just that, uh, you know, for, for coming to these big races, you could see in the Whitney, this horse does not need a race in between. Anybody that knows horse racing can see that. Same right now. He doesn't need a race in between the big race out there in, in Saudi. He's good, man. But could he do it? Yes, I'm sure that he can. But it's bad time is his weapon, and we want to keep using it. You know, it, it's good for him. So these other races, they don't, they don't mean a whole lot like the Saudi Cup does. I mean, that's a lot of money. And if we want to do both, we better have a fresh horse when we go over there because you got to do this one, and then you got to do that one. You don't have time. In Dubai, you're talking about Dubai. Yeah, okay. yeah, so we want to have him as fresh as he can be for those two races. That's why nothing else in between interests me at all, only those two races. It could be a, a debate between Cody's wish and this horse as far as accomplishments for older dirt male and horse of the year. How do you feel about that, and do you, does it matter? To you? I think that he's the best one going around two turns in this country right now, and I think Cody's wish is the best one that is not going around two turns in this country right now. So. You know, Cody's Witch had a, a huge year, win more grade ones than him, and that's all great. You know, when, when, when Silver Train won the sprint and lost in the fog, when all those races in the row and they asked me the same question, I said, I mean, we don't belong getting the horse, uh, Sprinter of the Year. Lost in fog belongs getting it. He had a better, we won two races that were big. Same thing here, we won two races. That horse has been going all year long and just been winning grade ones everywhere. So I'm not putting my vote in for him, but. If they give it to him, I, I will be behind it a million percent. We got next year for him. We can do it with him next year. As long as he stays the way he is right now, he can get horse of the year next year. That's if they don't give it to him this year. I mean, we're not doing the voting. The money still spends that he won. Yeah, we're going to spend it. We're going to spend it. Find some more horses? Yes, claiming. Claiming, yes. I'll be doing that. I can't wait. <laughs> you were saying that yesterday, that you're not on top of the world until you have a barn like Pletcher and Mott. Yeah. And, and the calls are going to start coming. I hope. <laughs>
I certainly hope so. We're going to run him at five. We're not going to stop in May. We're going to keep going for the gut, you know? Saudi will probably be some rest. We want to go to Dubai after that. Right, but I'm mean never Dubai. Himself. Then probably his next spot would be the Whitney, probably. Something like that. You got March, April, May, June, July. Oh, yeah, five months. It would be beautiful. Probably. Then the same thing, yeah. So four, four races. Man, those are four big races. <laughs> I mean, come on. Do you have any sense in terms of things like vindication or redemption or anything? No. Doesn't enter my mind. It really doesn't. I got so much things on my plate right now. When I'm by myself with my thoughts, I don't think about that. I just think about him winning that next race, man. That's what I am into, and I love it in Saudi, and I love those people there. And, man, I can't wait for them to be crowded around our horse. I'm going to start calling some people. Like Disney World. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Are you really going to Disney Yeah, now's a good time for me to call them. Yeah, I'm going to go there today, of course. Are you? Yeah, of course I am. What, what I love it there. Disneyland, really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I wish my mom was here so I could take her. I tried to talk her into coming, but What's she. What's your favorite ride? I don't get on the rides. No, I don't do that. They'll get me sick. You've been on enough of the rides. So. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> that was a good one. About three or four times. You turn into a little kid there. Yeah, I love it there. What do you do if you don't go on the rides? I can't remember what I did there, but I just know I like it there. Just the like atmosphere. Yeah, walking around. That kind of thing. I got nothing else to do today. It has saved me money because if I don't do that, I'm going to bet football and watch football all day. So it has saved me money if I go to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Which is saying a lot because it's pretty expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It says a lot about what you're betting on. <laughs> I'm already losing the 930 game <laughs> that I have to watch. This is cool. Yeah, a bunch of us. A bunch of us. We did good. We had fun. Then we come back, put him to bed. And as soon as we gave him his candies, he just laid down in front of us and went back to bed. Looks like he's got a lot of energy for us. Yeah. yeah. Well, he likes people. People get him excited. Okay. If there wasn't anybody around, he'd be back in his stall just relaxing. Hanging out. Yeah, but he lo loves the action, loves the people, wants to know why they're here. He knows they're here for him. So, just all good stuff. Stay with back. Where in the picture do you see the Derby, the Kentucky Derby, trying to get back there? And I'm not going to try to get back there, but I want to get horses that that that, that 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 might be able to be good enough to get there. You know? Take you there. Yes, yes, they have to because I can't take them. They have to take they have to take everybody there, man. They have to be born to run, and they got to be nice horses, and then you got to take care of them the right way, and then they'll take you there. So, so I just you know I, I don't think of things like that I just you know just think of their next start you know their next start and what could be that's that's what I do because I'm not in a hurry with the with the babies you know I, I really take my time with them you know a lot of people get aggravated with it but I, I don't yeah you know I just I don't say you you're the derby horse you're gonna take me there let's go you know I just take my time and whatever ones are gonna show up do you have uh, many clients now that will spend a lot of money at the yearlings and buy a lot of yearlings? Uh, Not that I know of. They say they they do, but I, I don't know yet. I haven't had time to clock my owners there. I don't need to. I just want to get more owners and stuff like that. Him and that and that jock that rides him, I just love those two. They bring me me so much energy just thinking about what can be. You know, I just keep thinking about that. I just want to win the Saudi Cup and the Dubai Cup. I want to do that so bad. So that's where my attention is.